Cruise lines suspending service. People being asked to stay at home for eight weeks. The world is spinning like a top. And on top of that, people are stockpiling toilet paper. In today's episode of the La Lita Loca Cruise Show, we're going to look at panic hoarding and why people do it. Uh, I've got some answers. Stay tuned. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the La Lita Loca Cruise Show. I am your host, Tony. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you enjoy that daily content, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of our episodes. Well, before I can jump into today's episode, let me first say something about yesterday's vlog. You may have seen it. I went out on the hunt for toilet paper just to get a sense of what's going on out there in the world. I just have to make it clear to everyone right now that no toilet paper was wasted in the making of that video. I did include a clip at the end of that video of a toilet paper roll being exhausted rather expeditiously by somebody pulling, and I do say somebody, pulling toilet paper off of a roll. Look, that's a little movie magic. That was a stock video clip that was recorded way before the crisis. So everybody put down your pitchforks, straighten out your underpants, and know that no toilet paper was wasted during the making of that video. Just trying to make the video a little more interesting. And I do, the, I, I'll play it right here. I love this clip. Let's all appreciate the expeditious removal of toilet paper from this toilet paper roll. Roll it. Are we good? Everybody good? Big hugs. Everybody okay from yesterday? Let me give you some toilet paper facts before we jump into the reasons why people hoard the TP. So the statistic that I found on toilet paper usage is that the average American uses about one roll of toilet paper every 3.6 days. There are 329 million Americans, and so that means that there are about 3 billion rolls of toilet paper that are needed to supply the demand of Americans each year and consistently the ability to produce those 3 billion rolls uh, have been met. There's not a scarcity of toilet paper. Retailers have said over and over that they're able to supply this demand. It's just a matter of getting the stuff to the stores and then keeping people from freaking out and buying it all. Why are people stockpiling toilet paper? I've been fascinated with this topic for the last couple weeks as I've seen it unfold. You would think I would have got out before yesterday to get toilet paper as I've been tracking along with it, but I have a few reasons why people do this. It's in their head, just so you know. The big, the big deal is it's in their head. That's why people stockpile toilet paper, but let me give you a few specific reasons why it's in their head. First one, really not that deep. People are hoarding toilet paper because other people are hoarding toilet paper. It is the nature of our makeup. We are societal creatures. We are people that are observant and we take our cues from others. So when we hear our friends saying, I stocked up on toilet paper for this upcoming crisis, you go, oh, maybe maybe I should stock up. Ah, that's just one friend. Oh, and then you look on the news and there's other people stocking up. Something triggers in the brain. Everybody must be stocking up on toilet paper. I got to get mine too. Another reason people are stocking up on the old two-ply is because they feel like there is none out there, which is proven to be true. But even before that was true, there were a lot of images of empty shelves, images of scarcity, images that almost induce a panic inside your psyche that says, Wow, I'm just watching the news. Look at those empty shelves. I'm on social media. Look at those empty shelves. There's no toilet paper left. I got to go find toilet paper. That's been true for the last couple weeks. And, you know, in the beginning, there were some empty shelves, but there were also a lot of full shelves. But it's the images of those empty shelves 
that trigger the panic. A third reason is the nature of this crisis. This crisis is based around health and wellness and people associate hygiene with health and wellness and one of the most hygienic activities for many people is keeping your underside clean. Again, in societal situations, we don't wanna be embarrassed, we don't wanna be considered dirty. And so, keep up the good hygiene. Even in a crisis, you may think to do that, I gotta have plenty of toilet paper. People out there buying toilet paper, stocking up toilet paper because they don't wanna be in a situation where they are unclean. Now, jumping deeper into the psyche, really one of the reasons that people are hoarding toilet paper is in the event of a crisis, we get the sense that we are losing control. There is a perception, whether it's real or not, that's a whole nother discussion, that people have free will and that people have autonomy, that they can rise above their outside circumstances and autonomously make their own choices, that they're not bound by the environment or by some other structure that impedes on them their ability to choose. Well, we're definitely sitting in a chaotic situation where there is uncertainty all around us, but one thing that you can certainly do, or you could for a time, is you could go out and buy toilet paper. You could go out and buy anything. And so in the face of uncertainty, in the face of chaos, a lot of people hoard, stockpile, because there is a sense of control that goes along with it. Closely related to that is when people hoard or when people stockpile, they want some sort of visual cue that they did it well. And toilet paper is a prime product for that for a few reasons. Toilet paper will not expire. If nothing happens because of this crisis, you're still gonna be able to use your toilet paper. The money that you spent is not in vain. And toilet paper is big. So again, trying to settle down your mind, trying to make yourself feel like that you have some control, I can buy a mountain of toilet paper. It won't be a waste. I'll use that toilet paper eventually. And then I can look at that mountain of toilet paper and say, aha, I did something. I took back my control, even in the face of a crisis. Now, another reason that many may not have considered is some people have been hoarding toilet paper for profit. I was shocked yesterday when I was thinking about this video, when I jumped on eBay and looked at some of the prices of toilet paper. Now, this one right here, $96 for a pack of toilet paper. Let's assume that that toilet paper cost $20 at the most. They're making a $76 profit. People are buying this toilet paper. Uh, just a quick definition, many states have price gouging laws. And just for clarity, price gouging is considered charging more than 15% of the normal price. So using that logic, let's just say that that pack of toilet paper, $20 all in, and 15% of $20 is $3, so you slap $23 on it, you're really not price gouging, you're kinda at the top end. So let's compare that. Price gouging starts past $23 in this example. This person selling this toilet paper for $96. One reason people are stocking up on toilet paper is to make some money uh, at the disadvantage of other people. There's nothing wrong with spending your money any way that you want to spend it, but in a situation where there is a crisis, where there is an emergency, your ability to stockpile stuff does disadvantage someone else. Just this past weekend, the government came out and said major retailers are asking consumers to only buy what they need, no more than a couple weeks. They're even saying maybe no more than a week's worth of supply because there are a lot of people that are struggling. I went to three different places to find one pack of toilet paper and they just put it out and it was almost gone yesterday. And that means there's a lot of people out there that didn't get toilet paper. And fortunately, some of these retailers are now starting to curb the stockpiling, the hoarding by putting limits, the target that I found my toilet paper at. They only allowed one pack purchase of toilet paper regardless of the size. That's really the appeal of the show today try to curb your desire to stockpile because uh, it could disadvantage someone else. And you know, you could get on your high horse and say, well, look, you know, I did what I had to do. Shame on these other people for not taking the appropriate steps. But that attitude I think is not gonna serve you well in the long run, especially in this crisis, because you never know when you didn't buy the thing that you need or when you need help from a stranger, sometimes taking that, you know, bowed up attitude of uh, I did what I had to do, uh, bite you in the butt. I've seen it happen. We can look at history. Uh, so think about your fellow man. That's that's my 
That's my appeal today. Did you get your toilet paper? I'm still super fascinated by this. Uh, do you know anybody that can build a toilet paper for it? I'm not asking you to call out any names, but have you run into anybody that successfully stockpiled toilet paper? Uh, this too shall pass. Another day goes by as we embrace the chaos. And I hope you guys are doing okay out there. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please show your support for the show by clicking that like button. Uh, check out another one of our episodes. This is Tony for the La Lido Loca Crew Show. And until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido in a while. Bye.